was much more... I don't know what you'd call it, but I, I'm glad that it didn't get thinged. Uh, I wouldn't kill Rob. <laughs> You're gonna beat me up for Steve? Look, if I have to kill two people, I'll kill Kyle and Steve, alright? I can't kill Justin, because I love Justin, he's amazing. I can't kill Ko, because Ko is awesome and I love him. Can't kill Rob, because if I kill Rob, then we're all fucked. Can't kill Roman. Because if I kill Roman, Rob will be mad. Can't kill Shay because why would I kill Shay? Shay's adorable. Can't kill Paws because if I kill Paws, there's like a shit ton of people that will be mad. Can't kill Nisivan because if I kill Nisivan, then we're just not going to get any more content ever for Lords. I can't kill myself because that's suicide and that's a coward's way out. So that leaves Kyle and Steve, who I both adore, but you know, the lesser of two evils. Actual kissing? No, no, me and Paul's actually kissed. <laughs> Lordy Naughty confirmed. Uh, don't starve creature to fight in super fight. I would pick a beefalo. Beefaloes are sick. <laughs> play on con seems like a place. Don't explore your sexuality at play on con. And maybe next year it might be different. I don't know. I won't be going. But um, maybe they'll fix. The weird thing about PlanCon was the pool situation where we had a bunch of naked people in the pool. That was a weird experience. I was, it was like the second night, I was completely fucking drunk. I was so drunk that they put me on a lilo, I mean Rob and the people I was with, and they just pushed me off to the other end of the pool. And I had a very, very strange experience with a bunch of naked people. Not naked attractive people, let me tell you. Naked people that, unattractive naked people. They were attractive naked people, but they were over there dancing away from the pool where I couldn't reach and then I got pushed back and I came back sober so would I fuck a bear god no it was terrible did I French it up with paws I don't remember but I'm gonna say no I'm gonna say no I hope not the pool at play on con was terrible I would not recommend it it was terrible Except for that one, the one guy who brought us like, it was like a slushy. It was a vodka and cherry slushy. That was amazing. It was the best thing I drank at that entire play on con. Cause it was so fucking good. He brought a jug of it. We drank most of it. I apologize so profusely for drinking all cause I wanted everyone to try it, but it was amazing. I drank a lot at play on con. It was the first time in years I'd had a vacation. So I just went crazy with drinking. I think I, w I don't remember most of it, but I remember enough. The pool is fine, but just, you know, be careful of the times when there's naked people in there. They might crack down on that. Wes and uh, Judd and all those guys might crack down on it a bit more this year, but I don't know. Uh, I, I, can I can guarantee that just be careful. You know, playing calm was fun, but eh, eh, too hot. Too humid, not even hot. It was just very humid down in Alabama. I think that was fun though, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I could see them like trying to. I mean, Play on Con, it's it's an adult. It's 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 an ad, it, it is advertised as an adult nerd convention, and it is very you know it's they've got their they've got things for kids and stuff, but it is actually it is very much an adult um, convention. It was fun. I mean, I got to drink a lot, but that was more so just because I was in America, and as a European in America at the time, my money was so much worth more than I was able to buy a lot of alcohol, and it was great. Well, I wasn't able to buy a lot. I got robbed by a lot because my card wouldn't work, and then I paid him back, which was pennies, because the exchange rates was great. It was great. Do I know about any of the other lords' lore? Um, I don't know. If, I know we don't. I don't think I know anybody's official lore. I know that Justin is still alive in in Unforgotten Realms, or at least in rebooted Unforgotten Realms, as are most of the lords. I think even Spid's still alive. But I don't know any specifics. Um, so, yeah. Favorite Game of Thrones character? 
Uh, Tyrion or Varys? I like Varys a lot. Var uh, no, it's, it's Littlefinger. I like Littlefinger because he's a fun character, and also I love the actor Aiden, Gil Aiden, eh, Aiden Gillian, who's a very good Irish actor. I have, to, I have to give him props for that. He's in The Wire, too. The Wire's a very good show, too. Mm. If I had to spoil one thing about future episodes of Lords, what would it be? Uh, is this, I don't know if this counts as a spoiler, but I will, since the, once the Dead Bones card shop opens, which is going to hopefully be next week, hopefully, um, I will be doing episodes, solo, solo episodes again. This is like my first Lord solo episode in so long. I'll be doing solo episodes based around telling you guys the lore behind the named cards in the packs. I'll be doing like videos just explaining, like, this is the story of Duke Tony, sorry, Duke Tony and Duchess Linda. And uh, James Blunt. I'll be telling you guys their stories because that's the best part about the the Lords of Minecraft card game, Lords card game, Lords car collectible card game, is that I get to um, I get to come up with the lore for all the named characters that we come up with. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna enjoy that. That's gonna be really fun. Any conventions I'd like to go to besides PlayCon? Um, if there's nothing definite right now, but I might actually be going to uh, Gamescom this year, maybe, only because it's in Germany and it's like for a weekend and I can totally just, I can get like a cheap flight out, go there, and I, I might just want to do it for like a vacation because last year I had a vacation for the first time in years and I was like, this is really nice, I might do this again next year, so I might I might go to Gamescom this year, but not for anything like official, this is like, it's not a Buffalo Wizards thing, it's just me going to game, going to Germany. And going to Gamescom for the sake of it. Can I do one of those car commercials with a cowboy for my card shop? Which cowboy? It's probably like an American thing, is it? I'll be advertising the cards because I want people. <laughs> well, Lord Deadbones will want people to buy the cards because why wouldn't he? I mean, that's like his new business deal. Out of all the lords, I seem to jump from one thing to the other the most. Like, I was like, now I'm the dictator of Westshire. Now I run a card shop. Will the Cooster McBooster Turnster McBunster card be available? Uh, maybe eventually. Do I watch The Walking Dead? Uh, I did up until the end of season two. And then I just kind of got bored with it. I guess, I don't know, I just got bored with I even got bored with the comics to an extent. I just, you know, just kind of got boring to me. Do a commercial as Clint Eastwood. I can't do a Clint Eastwood. I can't squint very well. I'm not a great squinter. Oh, I, I, I know. I'd already seen the uh, the Duke Tony sheet. Uh, Rob sent me the uh, the art for all the cards today, so I could uh, get ready for thumbnails and stuff. No, I like. I love the Duke Tony. The Duke Tony and the James Blunt are fucking sick. Vineyard, Westshire, Westshire, Southshire. I mean, I mean, if you want to be honest, like, what district is the best district? It's probably the Magic Quarter. The Magic Quarter has the library. They're all really nice, which I don't like. They're all really nice. There's no bad eggs in in, uh, in the Magic Quarter, so. Opinion in Telltale Games. I'm gonna tell you now, I played Life is Strange, if you've seen it on my YouTube, I played Life is Strange for, um, for YouTube, you can go watch it on YouTube if you want, if you've seen it. It's a, I really enjoyed Life is Strange, and right after Life is Strange, I did the, uh, the Game of Thrones second episode Let's Play. And, uh, after playing Life is Strange, I just realized that this... The Telltale games are fine, they're alright, I enjoy them, I still enjoy them, but... Life is Strange is just a way better way of doing those games, because I don't know. Maybe it's like maybe it's the time reversing thing, but I just enjoyed Life is Strange way more than most Telltale games, and I I do I do love Telltale games. I love those kind of games, but the Telltale formula at this point it's just so like I can I can tell what's gonna happen when I do this decision or when I do that. It's like it's always gonna be the same. With Life is Strange, I don't know. Like I don't know. Maybe that's just because it's a new developer. I, I I don't know, but I really did enjoy I did enjoy Life is Strange more than Game of Thrones episode 2, but I don't know. Peace out, Arginum47. Cloud9? Why are you gonna watch Cloud9? Fuck Cloud9. Evil- mm. 
I was gonna say evil geniuses are usually better, but no. Um, I don't know what you're watching. If you're watching Dota, I personally prefer. Who do I usually go for? Who's my, who's my go to? I like. <laughs> I forget the name of the team, but whoever has Banana, the 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 Chinese player, I like Banana. Banana is my favorite Dota 2 player. Oh, but oh, Stra Life is Strange is a, is a amazing looking game. Yeah, I guess the characters are way more re more well realized than than the Game of Thrones games or the Telltale games in general. But no, I like. I do like Life is Strange is very good. I enjoyed that immensely. I look forward to episode two. You know, uh, the voice acting was okay. It was, it was actually was pretty good. It was it was just a fun game. I just enjoyed it, and people seem to enjoy it on the channel, which is really good. It was like one of my best series so far compared to Lords. Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I, um, next episode is in March, so I'll do that then, and it'll be it'll be sick. I like it. Don't watch Cloud Nine. Don't watch Cloud9. Cloud9 is not. Cloud9 is not a good team. Don't. Cloud9. No matter what they're doing, Cloud9 is suck. Like, Na'Vi is okay in Dota 2. I don't know League very well, but I'm sure Evil Geniuses are alright in that. You know what? I'm gonna give you guys an extra few minutes. Even though I finished my drink, I won't pour another one on camera because I, I will have another one, but you know what? I feel more like a. I feel more like a straight right now. I'm gonna straight on the rocks. Do I have any ice? I might have ice. If I have ice, I'm gonna have a straight. But that's not until we're done chatting. League or Dota 2? Honestly? Here's the storm. I haven't started I only started playing that like a few weeks ago, and I enjoy Heroes of the Storm way more. Just but then that's me because Here's the Storm is the games are short, which means I can play like 20 minutes. It's like I got a game in, like less than 20 minutes always, or 20 minutes at the max. For watching Dota 2, Dota 2 is the best to watch. Uh, I don't like watching League. I don't enjoy watching League. I don't know. I just I prefer Dota 2 for watching. Oh, like I'll watch the international for Dota 2. That's about it. Favorite sport um, to compete in? I mean, when I was a kid, well, when I was a kid, when I was in high school, it was boxing. Um, to watch, I, I I really enjoy watching rugby. That's been persistent, but. Boxing was a big one for a while. Civ 5 or Beyond Earth? I haven't played Beyond Earth, but Civ 5 is pretty sick. I like Civ 5. Always like Civ 5. Well, always like Civ 5. I like Civ 5 for as long as it's been out. I haven't played a lot of it though. Like, probably like 60 hours maximum. Which is only great. What video game character would I have as a roommate, Funky Melon? Uh, video game character. Video game character, okay. As a roommate, as someone that lives with me, I'm going to say. Who would be fun to live with? Alright, either. Either my Shirane. Shir, Shir, my. Either my from King of Fighters. My Shirane. Shir, Shirane. I can't say the difference. Either my from King of Fighters or. Ah. Uh, Who's the other? Who's the other? Oh, uh, fucking. Come on, come on, come on. What's the name? What's the name? Ha ha ha! Up go to Butsy on the left hand side! No message! York 234. No message from York? Aw, oh, York, you didn't give me a message, buddy! Thank you very much, though, York. You're awesome, but no message? It's okay, man. Either my sh my sure and I, my sure and I from. My from King of Fighters or. What the fuck is their name? Why the fuck can I not remember? Oh my god, this is fuck. Come on, I can I can do that. Oh, I hate this. I can't actually fuck. I can't. I can see it. I can see the character. I can see the fuck. What the fuck is their name? Jesus Christ. I can't fucking think. I can't think of it. I can't actually think of it. I actually, it's just a fucking blank. I'm literally drawing a fucking blank. I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't actually can't remember the second character's name. I can't remember it. 
I can't remember. It was a character from fucking, uh... I can't even think of the fucking game! Holy shit, I can't even think of the fucking game! Jazz her Jazz Jaraz, welcome to the Dead Boners! She didn't say it. Why did she say it? I can't think of the name. I can't even think of the fucking game. Jazz Jaraz. What the fuck am I trying to think of? Oh my It's an RPG. Sorry, it's a JRPG. Name of the game! Oh my god, I'm so fucking bad. Am I that drunk that I can't fucking remember? I don't. I don't. I don't actually know. I can't. I can't think of it. I can't think. I can't think. It's just. It's gone. It's just gone. I can't think. I will remember it later. If I remember, I will. T I will tweet it. But I don't know. It'll come to me eventually. No, it's not Final Fantasy X. It's something else. I'm not, I'm, it'll come to me if I just stop thinking about it, I guess. Just put it on my head. It'll, it'll, it'll snap in a minute. Hopefully. Yeah. What's the next question? What's the, ne what's the next question you guys are going to ask? Jazz Jazz Jarraz. Jazz Jars. Jazz Jars. Ooh, or Jazz Jars. Jazz Jars pretty good. Jazz Jars pretty good. Just give you guys some colors. I won't. I can barely. I can like. I can see the character. I'm not. I'm not gonna think. Of it. I can see the character, but I can't fucking. Mm. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Don't worry. I'll think of it. I'll remember. I'll remember. I'll remember eventually. I like this song. It's a bad year. What year is this? Yeah, it's 2008. That's a bad year. It's a bad year. All right. I'm gonna give you guys. Fucking no. 30, 30 minutes? Nah, not 30 minutes. 20 minutes. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Almost half an hour. Before I just decide to close this off. I mean, we're, we're bleeding at the moment. We're bleeding, people. Slowly, though. It's a Final Fantasy... It's a Final Fantasy character. Uh, I've been looking at any other early access games besides Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I played a game in beta that's in early access now, uh, Rise of the Incarnates. That's by Bandai Namco, which is really fucking weird that a major studio is doing an early access game. It's, it's free to play, you can actually play it now. It's, uh, it's an okay game. I haven't played it since it went into early access. I played it in the uh, the closed beta, and it was okay. It's like uh, it's a uh, it's the style of game. Um, there's a Gundam game based on it, or based on that system where it's, it's a targeted fighting style game, which is two v two. Rise of the Incarnates. I don't know if it's good or right now for the access, but I played that for a bit. Um, otherwise, I don't really think. Do any other early access games? Um, let's see. I'm gonna check real quick. I don't think like I I, I, ha I have some that I've gotten from bundles and stuff, but I don't think I've actually played very many. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you right now. T I will tell you right the fuck now. When Steam stops being a bitch. Uh, I played some Starbound. That's an early access, right? I played some Starbound. Uh, table tabletop's early access. I played tabletop. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't play a lot of early access games. I only go for it. Does Dead Bones bleed every week? Dead Bones can't bleed. He's a skeleton. Who's my favorite lord other than myself? If you mean in terms of the character of the lord, then it's probably Nissivan. Nissivan has a really cool tech magic vibe going for him character-wise. If actual people, then. I feel obligated to say Rob because I've known Rob the longest, but Justin is a close second. Favorite ice cream flavor, mint chocolate chip. What is my spirit animal? 
I think last time I was asked this, I said a pink law punny in Pokemon, but that was just a dumb joke. I don't know, like a... What's my spirit animal? What would be my spirit animal? James Woods is my spirit animal. Yeah, they're appealing. Yeah, it's a it's a Gundam style game, but it's weird. Am I excited for Persona 5? Hell yeah! Uh, I never played Persona 4, but I watched a full playthrough back in 2009 on uh, Giant Bomb, their endurance run. So that was like the first Let's Play I actually really watched. I watched uh, a full run through of Persona 4. I started playing Persona 3. I should re I I should go back to Persona 3 Fest. I might I might play that on stream. That might be my next stream game that I will play every week on stream. Now that I have the PlayStation 3 stuff working, I might play Persona 3 for you guys. If you guys want to see it, otherwise I'll just play in my off time because it's not. I don't think it's YouTube worthy. But if you guys want to see Persona 3, just like let me know and I'll I'll, I'll do that because I would really like to play that. Watch any anime? Death Note, Steins Gate? I know of Death Note. I've never actually watched it. Uh, when it comes to anime, I know Dragon Ball Z. I'm currently watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because that's just the best. I saw Cowboy Bebop when I was younger, and then like Digimon and Pokemon, which doesn't really count. I should watch Cowboy Bebop again though. Who would I have as a pet from the Buffalo Wizards? Character or out of character, either works. As a pet? As a pet, Nissabin, like as a gnome, Nissabin would be a pretty interesting pet. As a little gnome guy. Actual people, nobody, because that's technically savory and that just sounds bad. That would be probably a bad thing. You guys would like to see Persona 3? I would, pl I, I'll, I'll play Persona 3, sure. Might do that, Not maybe not next week, but the week after. We can start a Persona 3 Fest playthrough. It'll take forever, but we'll eventually beat it. Alright, I might do that. Beyond Two Souls is a very dumb game. I would play that, but I don't think I can handle playing through it again. What am I listening to? This is really good music. Oh, okay. More JoJo's. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Never anything but PC and music. Yeah, I can get that. Uh, I honestly, I bought a P I bought a PlayStation 3 for fighting games mostly, but then I ended up getting games when they were on sale and stuff. Persona 4 is a very, very, very good game. Weirdest thing I've ever eaten. Uh, let's see. I had kangaroo steak once, which was really good. I actually really liked it. I don't know if that really counts as weird because they eat it a lot in Australia. Um, what's weird? It's weird. Chicken heart? Does chicken heart count as weird? I like chicken heart. It's actually really good. Weirdest member of the Buffalo Wizards. Uh, I'm gonna say Spid. Spid's got a dark side. You guys don't really see very often, but comes out when Texas Spid comes out. Texas Spid is part of Spid's dark side. Spid's got a dark side. Kangaroo steak is really good. It's like a really tender. It's like, it's like beef, but very tender. I guess chicken heart is probably like the weir weirdest thing, right? Chicken heart is a Chicken heart's really nice. I'm not gonna knock chicken heart. Chicken heart's pretty sick. You don't eat kangaroos a lot in Australia? What? You kidding me? I thought that shit was like beef. It's pretty good though. I like kangaroos. It's alright. Tender stuff. I would, I would, I would eat it again without a problem. But if, yeah, weirdest, like, it's probably like Chicken Heart. Chicken Heart's pretty sick. Peace out, Skitty the Killer. Chicken Heart's pretty normal where you live. Uh, that's like Brazil. I'm gonna say somewhere Hispanic. It seems like a I got I had it in a Brazilian restaurant, so I'm gonna, that's why I'm saying Brazil. So. I don't know, some, like Americans think black pudding is weird, which isn't to me, so. Mm -mm. Weird is very dependent on where you're from, food-wise. Which Buffalo Wizard would I want with me in a zombie apocalypse? Can I, can I say Paul's even though he's not a Buffalo Wizard? Because Paul seems like he plays a lot. He loves the zombie apocalypse zombie genres in general. So he'd probably be good in it. If not, uh... Not Ko. Ko would probably kill me because Ko, <laughs> Ko likes to stab people. In trouble in terrorist town. Uh, if not pause, then I don't know. Justin. 
You don't have kangaroo farms? Why not? You don't have to have a kangaroo farm. There's, there's plenty of them, right? <laughs> well, even if you have, don't have kangaroo farms, there's plenty of kangaroos. You still eat. You still eat kangaroos every now and then, right? I mean, come on. Come on. You know you do. There's no denying it. There's no denying it. What is my favorite music genre? That's actually really hard to say. Like, I like a lot of songs from a ver I am a jack of all trades, master of none. Like, I mean, if I had to pick one, I'd probably say like, 80s pop, or just 80s in general. It's not a normal thing? Weird. All right, well, you've never had kangaroo? Kangaroo's pretty sick. Kangaroo's pretty good. I would recommend kangaroo. I mean, if, they're, if they're that plentiful, you should be eating them, right? It makes most sense. If there's a lot of kangaroos, you would actually eat kangaroo. That makes that, to me, that just makes sense. If you have a lot of cows, you eat cows. If you have a lot of kangaroos, you eat, you eat, you eat, you eat, you eat, you eat kangaroos. It's... You eat whatever's plentiful. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't eat the pouch. You'd have a steak. You'd have a kangaroo steak. Australia. Ooh, deer. Yeah, venison's pretty sick. I've only had venison or veal. I mean, veal's cows. I've only had venison like twice. Venison's pretty good. <laughs> Whenever you think of kangaroos, you think of wallabies, and they're so damn cute. Yeah, but, I mean, if you think about cows, cows can be, like, baby cows are cute. I don't care. I'll eat anything. When it comes to meat. Damn straight. I'm a carnivore through and through. Oh, man, it's getting late. Uh, I guess I have a nice drink. I'm play a video game or something. I don't know. We're gonna be done in like 10 minutes or so. You guys can go and do whatever you see you're gonna do on a Friday night, Saturday morning, whatever time it is for you guys specifically. I don't actually know. We're listening to. Oh, it's Final, oh. Final Fantasy. Got it. Got it. That explains it. Have some drink. Have some drink. Buffalo burgers. Someone actually made um, a buffalo burger. Uh, and then, like it was like after the Buffalo Wizards, they did a video on it. I think I liked that video. I don't remember. There was a guy he did. He does he does like burger videos on YouTube, and it looks sick. I would eat it. I need a buffalo burger. Hell yeah. I think they're endangered, but fuck it. I need a buffalo burger. Why not? I need a sure. Totally. Meat is amazing. Anybody who doesn't eat meat is crazy. Vegetarians crazy. Vegans. There's no way to actually be a vegan. Vegan is stupid. Vegans are stupid. Vegetarians, I'll make fun of, but whatever. I don't really care. I'm gonna eat meat and you can't stop me. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. Talk about Kadian Sag? I don't know what that is. Is it Indian food? That's not an Indian food. I know Indian food, that's not Indian. I love Indian food, that's not Indian food. I'm gonna pour another drink, but it's not for you guys. I'm still gonna stop once the clock hits eight. So be warned. Alright? This drink is for me, it's not for you guys as a timer. It's just because I need a drink. So if I don't, I'm gonna start sobering up. Because I can feel it. I can feel it happening. I hate it. Storming up is the worst. 
it's the it is absolutely the worst feeling in the world. It's like it's like when you're it's, it's like if you're extremely happy and then suddenly you're like oh no, but life is meaningless and then suddenly you get started get it's like it's bringing down your happy and you're getting back to a normal human level. It's terrible. It's reducing it's reducing your endorphins or whatever scientific bullshit. This is my drink. It's my drink, not your drink. It's my drink. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs>